the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters i welcome every one of you for today's gospel reflection we are on 5th of december and today we celebrate second sunday of the season of advent and today's gospel we take gospel of luke chapter 3 verses 1 to 6 for a reflection today's word that centers around the phrase prepare the way of the lord this is a phrase that reflects the mind of St John the Baptist who came as a forerunner of Christ to prepare the way for Jesus and today we need to reflect the message of St John the Baptist during this season of advent because it is preparing us to welcome Jesus to make our way straight to cut down the mountains of pride and to fill the valleys of impurities the message of st john the baptist is a call as a, as well as a warning for us to make ourselves worthy enough to receive the messiah and therefore my brothers and sisters let us take this message of john the baptist very seriously to our life and we know the importance of john the baptist that's the reason all the four evangelists give an account of the ministry and the mission of john the baptist and they have beautifully presented that john the baptist has come and has given the baptism of repentance calling people for conversion calling people to feel sorry for their bad way of life calling people who have gone away from god and by seeking god's forgiveness to rectify and to reconcile with the living god and that is why all the four evangelists mention the mission and ministry of john the baptist so firmly that he has become the forerunner that he will prepare the way for the messiah to start his ministry to start the kingdom of god to establish the ministry of proclamation of the gospel and therefore welcoming jesus john the baptist a person cannot be avoided and therefore today god has given an opportunity in the second sunday of the season of advent to reflect on the theme of repentance echoed by john the baptist the first reading taken from the book of baruch gives a beautiful message for all of us that supports the conversion and returning of people of israel in the year 587 bc the, the people were deported the jews were deported to babylon as a and for 50 years they were in slavery after 50 years of their slavery cyrus a persian emperor defeats babylon and gives a decree that people who are come in exile can return back to their mother country to their native places we see in the context after the decree of cyrus some people remained some people who remained there who came in exile and some people who were very faithful to their uh, mother religion they were faithful by the teachings of the prophet by the scribes and the priest and their worship and prayer in the synagogue that protected them even in exile the faithful remnant returned back to israel returned back to jerusalem and baruch says that people to stand on the high mountains to see that the scattered children of israel how they are coming returning home and god in the lead so that is a beautiful message that we see from the book of baruch that god in the lead bringing back the remnant of israel after all their exile with the slavery god is restoring back the people in exile So what a great message to begin the, the season of Advent and in the second week to see that God is the one who restores. So He is a God of restoration. That is the point that we keep on pondering this season of Advent. That God will restore everything back. God will give us back the glory, and God will give an opportunity for us to return. And this is what exactly Paul is trying to echo in his reading that to people to stand on high to see and witness that God is bringing all the scattered children of Israel back home. 
So coming back home is the central theme of today's first reading. And coming home is what exactly is the call for repentance and change of life. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a great opportunity for all of us, especially in the season of Advent, to shed all the robes of selfishness, shed all the robes of greediness, shed all the robes of sinfulness. And therefore, this season of Advent is a time to shell out all the evil from our land. The selfishness from our life, the wicked thinking from our life, this uh, uh, kind of life that we are living away from the holiness of God, away from the word of God. This is a moment wherein we can go back to the word of God, go to the roots, a beautiful saying, go to the roots. So we need to go to the root of our religion. We have to see the, the heart of God. We have to see the compassionate mercy of the Lord. And therefore, this season of Advent is a call to come home, returning home to see our Savior. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, this is what exactly we see that Baruch declares that God who restored the people who were in exile and called them a new name, that is, peace of righteousness and glory of godliness. This is what Baruch says, that all the people in exile who has come, it is an opportunity for them to be reborn at the same time to a newness of life and he calls that life as peace of righteousness and glory of godliness. How beautiful phrase that we need to keep pondering in our life. And this is what exactly St. Paul in the second reading calls that there is a need of perpetual readiness in our life. And that readiness to be guided by righteousness and holiness. That every day of our life should be guided by the divine word of God. That gives us an opportunity to set right in our day-to-day -day activities. So Paul is emphasizing that the daily coming of Jesus and the daily being prepared. And that is what a constant or a perpetual preparedness is a must for a Christian. So that... Jesus who comes every day knocking at your door is being welcomed and that welcoming Jesus and being preparedness it is centered on righteousness and holiness and therefore taking this as a strong foundation of our Christian existence we need to feel that we are away from the Lord and that is why the voice of Saint John the Baptist to bring down the mountains of pride and fill the valleys of impurities. So instead of pride, fill it with humility. Instead of impurities, fill it with holiness. That is the greatness that we see. And to set path the way, we know that today these days are really heavily and we have seen all the roads are so damaged. We find it so hard to travel and the floods have washed away all the bridges. Parts of Tamil Nadu, we see how we are, how we are witnessing it for the last uh, few weeks. And therefore, this is an apt time to understand how the heavy loss of the heavy loss of the public infrastructure due to the flood and rain, heavy rain, the similar catastrophe is happening every day in our life because of our sinful way of life. Sin destroys peace, sin destroys the road. And therefore, we need to rectify the Lord. And therefore, how to rectify? That is why God is giving us conversion, repentance, call for righteousness. And therefore, this season of Advent, it is also inviting us for repentance, change of life and change of our soul. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us take the message of John the Baptist deeper into our heart that we need to keep our hearts and mind every day being prepared. That I am ready to amend my life, ready to change and accept the things that are not holy, things that are ungodly, I will take away from my life. At the same time, seeking God's forgiveness, as I seek for God's forgiveness, I should also be generous enough to show forgiveness to my fellow human being. And that is why 
that is how we make the season of advent meaningful and we make ourselves ever ready to receive our savior and to welcome jesus and celebrate life of jesus the birth of jesus meaningful in our life amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen i wish you all a blessed day god bless you